Also, hopefully it's actually loading up the next area when it's doing that. I mean, it probably is. But we have to wait anyway, so... It might just be good to skip in the future. I don't know. Anyway, that's land. We can now build things now. So that might be good to do. Uh, but we can also try and take a look at some other stuff as well. Come in, come in! Over! As we discussed earlier, Ochi has grown a bit. So this morning I decided to drill him on his jump skill. Ochi should be able to move around more easily now, even with you and the other and the Pikmin on board. Walk up close to Ochi and press Y to mount, uh, press it again to dismount. Press X while you want Ochi to use jump. He should be uh, have no problem clearing small ledges. Oh, so that's actually going to allow us to keep exploring more now. If you keep holding X after you jump, you can build up his power. Hit something with a rush to launch the Pikmin on his back and have them land on your target. Using jump will give you access to more search areas and good rush. A good rush can be game changing, a game changing move in a battle. Also, the he's so cute. <laughs> anyway, let's go get some Pikmin out. Just gonna do raids for the moment, thou. Though, thou? Why did I say thou? I don't know. Though is what I'm trying to say. But I also want to try building. Might need to try checking some other stuff on here, maybe. Tablet menu. I don't see anything for building here. Side missions. An ode to science. Collect scientific wonders available at the lab. I did that, I think. Oh, I need to acquire old gear from the lab. Okay. Learn all the skills. Interesting. IDs. That should be good. Status report. I don't know why that's highlighted. I think it's just because it's new. We've got a couple of logs here as well, which I think is all stuff we've already seen. It seems like it. It's just stuff if we need to relearn stuff that we've lost. Voyage log. Oh wow. We can actually like look at all of the notes from Captain Olimar. Wait, what? Whoa, there's so much extra stuff in here. Plus also some new stuff that we've learned. So if you want to learn some extra stuff, that's there, I guess. Anything that we missed as well. Oh, we need to bring materials to this. Interesting. I believe we can turn this partial construction into a vi vital asset. We'll process raw material into clay at the SS Beagle and use it as a building material to finish this structure. These raw materials are only valuable when brilliant minds give them a higher purpose after all. Once you're at the construction a construction site, simply direct your Pikmin and Ochi well, to start building. Well, I don't think I have enough materials at the moment because I spent them all. Uh, but we can go get some more. And basically just clean up anything else that I have around. Also, I didn't mean to get out my ice Pikmin, but that's okay. They'll still be helpful, I guess. I don't know if I need to keep collecting more Pikmin, but it might just be good to have an extra buffer in case I need it. We can also charge now, which is nice. Also, the re remains uh, remain. Enemy remains are still here. That's good. Just gonna make sure I get all of that so I don't have to come back for it. Let me actually ride. I don't think it's gonna be much faster, but it might be cool. I need to figure out how to get up here. I need to be able to jump up somewhere. Probably over here, actually. There's probably a bunch of places I can actually jump from to, to other places, so I just need to figure out where that is. I can't quite make it up that ledge. But it is something I'm going to have to keep learning about, so let's jump down. Let's try and repair this thing over here, probably. So I think we can probably get up there as well, now that I think about it. But let me focus on this for the moment. I'll just let them build for the moment. Let's go get some other stuff. Try and multitask this, because multitasking is probably going to be helpful. Up. And up. Okay, we're up here now. Oh, there's a cave here. New cave discovered. <laughs> Doesn't do that. I just... It, it feels like it should. <laughs> I'm so used to Pikmin 3, apparently. 
don't think there's anything else over this way that we can get currently. I think there was some more stuff back the other way. Also, there's a thing here. I didn't even see this. Get it! Anything over there? There's a baseball. I don't know if I can get that though. Let's get all the materials. I'm probably gonna not want to spend all my materials every time we get to the end of the day. It seems like materials are actually a lot more hard to come by than I thought, so I need to really be careful about that. They're building that. Grab those. I like how if you call back Pikmin that are working on something, they also don't or immediately come back to you because it means you can call back the full group and not just um, accidentally call back the ones that were working on something. Kiki! <laughs> Construction on the clay of the clay bridge is complete. Now you can come and go as you please. Go ahead, cross it. Admire the impressive craftsmanship. Also, we got the scent of another captain at some point, and I never followed up through with that. But also, I don't know if I can. Also, there's bridge pieces over there. So they actually wanted me to get these. Uh, they want, wanted me to have the ice pikmin get me across there. Also, there's another cave here. New cave discovered. Can I reach this now? Maybe? Because I'm slightly higher up? I don't know if that counts. No, it doesn't look like it. So we'll come back to that at some point, but I think we're gonna actually have to go into a cave now. I just don't know if I want my ice picking with me or not. I might bring them along and just see how it goes. Leave them at the safe place if I need to. Oh, hey! I see that up there. I'm guessing we can't get that for a while, but also... I didn't see that up there. There's the, the blue onion. Or a blue onion. There might be multiple, I don't know. Also, is that a pumpkin that I can collect? There's a lot of concerning things around. Anyway, let's go into this dungeon. This cave. And we'll figure out what to do next after that. Let's go. Industrial maze. The ground. It started moving. I groped for a way forward. But I couldn't make any progress on my own. I wonder if Moss may be able to help me out of this mess. Wild Pikmin? Question mark? There's no onions in here, but there are treasures and rescuers. Apparently. So let's take a look at that. Um, no, this is fine. Probably. Except I don't have any... I, th I think it's just automatically done red Pikmin only. Suggested rec red Pikmin and nothing else, so let me just go red Pikmin. That's very helpful that you can do that at the entrance to a cave. Super helpful. Anyway, industrial maze. I'm loving this. <laughs> the surface stuff is really good, but also I'm... I'm looking forward to more underground stuff. And this is only the tutorial area, technically, kind of. There's still so much to this. Also, this is really cool. What's in the distance? Oh, there's a fan. Shadow. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. This isn't supposed to happen. Oh, she's all the way over there. Captain, what's the protocol for a situation like this? You and Ochi need to find a uh, rendezvous point, Blue Toad. Press the action buttons and select down to switch to explore as Ochi. Interesting. Also, there are conveyor belt stuff. Which is going to definitely change the way we do things. I can't even see the bottom of this cave. Oh, that was a bad idea. Also, the camera is really, really strange. It's like the lights. Is this like a greenhouse? Or No, maybe not a greenhouse. I don't know. I mean, it probably is, but I don't know. Ah, uh, we can get over here, but that's as much as we can do. So let's switch to Ochi. But you can't get past this fence. There's an item up there. Wait till until we find another route. I can destroy this. I don't think I want to. Cancel. Not on my own anyway. Hey! Well, if I can, I could, if I could get those, that'd be nice. Also, I think this is going to switch the paths, isn't it? Yeah. So that is interesting. Also, can I do that? I can. Interesting. 
Well, sorry, are we... Which one are we now? Are we, are we still... The captain or are we Ochi now? Ah! I don't know. Anyway. Two, three, four, five. Oh, they're going up that way. Interesting. One, two. They seem fine. They don't sound fine, but they seem fine. But I think I need to hit the switch. To allow those two across, because they can't go up the the wind way. Something is blocking Pikmin from finding a clear path, so just run around in circles until they can. Change the direction. Also, this Pikmin here, I probably want to get these. Dismount. Yellow Pikmin. I just love this idea of getting the Pikmin before the onion. Is that a new type of Pikmin? I should check to see if Captain Olimar's log says anything about them. I've decided to call the yellow colored Pikmin with large ear-like appendages. Yellow Pikmin. I like the name that name a lot, more than ear Pikmin. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. They're resistant to electricity. And they fly then they fly high when thrown. Plus they're good at digging. Resistant to electricity? How unusual. What in the world are they made of? That sounds like a potentially useful quality though. Just be careful how you deploy them. They aren't there aren't that many. Yeah, I need to be really careful now. But I can. Um They can be thrown higher than other Pikmin because they're aerodynamic whatever, I don't know. Uh, let me also charge, or maybe not charge that. Although I don't think I need to. I think I just need to throw these five up there. Let me dismount, please. Get all that. So yeah, they can be thrown high, which is nice. Also, let me charge across this. Activate that so we can let, let them through. We can also throw a Pikmin onto this, but I think it's better to just jump on it, on it probably. Also, I probably want to go get my other Pikmin as well. So I can actually deal with that wall. Go! You have to really be careful with that. I think that's everything on this floor. It doesn't have a sound effect to say. As far as I can tell so far, anyway. Maybe there's something still on this floor or something. Can I check? Sub-level 100%. Okay, so there's no sound effect, but it is done. Or maybe there was a sound effect and I just missed it. Anyway. Go! Very nice. Let's also get those. Make sure we get them in. Also, it doesn't show us what time it is on the surface, which is concerning. But that's okay. Here we go. Let's go deeper. Pikmin currently outside of your squad will come with you. So you don't have to worry about losing your Pikmin as you go deeper. Sub-level 2. We're going deeper than ever before now. We've only ever gone into caves that have one sub-level. Oh boy. Final sub-level. It also tells you that, if you need to know. Which is good. Cap uh, there's a castaway nearby. Whoa, hello. I can't even remember what this thing is called. But this is good, because we can knock it out of the sky and get... It's usually nectar, but this time we get something else. A red nectar. I wonder. Ultra spicy spray. Classic. From Pikmin 2 onwards, anyway. A spray cons consisting of red nectar infused with ultra spicy compounds. Side effects still unknown. I believe this is what ultra spicy nectar... That ultra spicy nectar that was mentioned in Voyage Log. In the Voyage Log. Keep that simple sealed up, sample sealed up, in a bottle so it won't spill in your pack. 
There's a decent amount of ultra spicy essence there. It should be useful. We're definitely going to want that. Also, I can't get this currently, so I'm going to have to come back for that, actually. What I need to do right now is actually ride. So let's do that. Also, I love these crystals that mark out the spots. That's really cool. But anyway, we can get up here. There's the person that we need. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Hang on. I was trying to... Hang on. How about I cancel out that? I feel like that's a bad idea. Let me dismount. Like, I feel like that's going to go really poorly for me if I do that, because if I, if I hit the wall, my pig will get flung off the edge. I imagine they're going to die instantly. Also, what is this madness that it wants me to do here? Looks like there's more yellow pigment down below. I'm just trying to figure out what my route is. Let me go down here and get these first. Hopefully the pigment are smart enough to not fall off the edge into the void. We haven't had a Pikmin game with smart Pikmin to figure out uh, cliff faces yet, so this is the this is the first Pikmin game that they might be smart enough to avoid falling off edges if they're not careful <laughs> or something. Also, we can go straight to the end right now, but there's a lot of other things we need to do first. For one thing, we can break down these electrical gates uh, with the other Pikmin since they're electric proof. You know, electric proof. The, the usual way to say that. Electrical re resistance. I don't know. <laughs> I, c I can't say that any better than that, apparently. Uh, they actually can't get that to where they need to go. Unless I can bring it a little bit closer, at least, so. Let me just call them back. We haven't actually got a path through yet, and I forgot about that. Oh, hello. Knock you out of the sky. More ultra spicy spray. Oh, that's nice. Usually in the past you have to drink it, but just collecting it is very nice. Let's get rid of this electronic gate. Also, why is there another hole over there? There's another thing there. Oh, can we move? Oh, we can move the thing, can't we? That's actually really cool. So what's over there? There's an item. I should probably go get that first before changing where the start is, basically. Because we can, we can actually swap where our base is. During the level. <laughs> also, might need more Pikmin. I might be alright. Let me just check this out first. This is just so cool. There's so many good things in here. Also, what is this? Oh, does that get rid of the gate? Iron fence is lowered. Well, I didn't really need that, but I, I'll accept it. Oh, really? It's fine, there's another one. If I can target it somehow. No! Oh! I really need to be very careful about that. Oh my goodness, this thing is being so rude. Hang on. Lock onto it, there we go. Definitely have to be careful about that. So which gate to the other, other gate to lower? That one. Okay. Well, I didn't really need that as the thing. Because I want to do it the other way. Because I really want to move the thing. Because that's such a cool thing that we can do. On board. Because if we do it over this way, we can actually get the guy back a lot faster. We can also get back that faster. That's just so cool. Well, that can completely destroy that. That's probably good. Let's bring it over here, please. Move base. See, like that. That's so cool. And super helpful and stuff. So, there we go. We'll break those. Hey, more Pikmin. Oh, that's probably where I got the other Ice Pikmin last time, and I was so confused. It's because they just are in pots sometimes. There we go. We can get him back. We can get the magnifying glass, and then that'll be it, probably. I think we might have found another rescue officer. Let's hurry and verify their ID info. Snores? Snores. Treasure appraiser. From a different planet. Okay. An acclaimed treasure appraiser who's e traveled extensively. His unique techniques were used to develop a leading appraisal AI. So that's the one we have. But yeah, there's more captains to find than just the, the original ones. There's gonna be so much stuff. 
Hang on, this is a this is no rescue officer. Who is this? And how did he get down here? Well, how did he get here? The idea shows that he's a treasure appraiser. What's he doing on this planet? Um. Hmm, I wonder. Um. You remember the voyage log that arrived with Captain Olmar's SOS signal? Perhaps there were others who picked up his signal, saw the log, and decided to come all this way in search of treasure. Oh no. Why is everyone crashing on this planet? Is it because the gravity is like too massive? But then there would be obvious consequences when they're on the surface. Unless the surface has less gravity. No, that wouldn't make sense. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I can't physics this good. Maybe they end up like Captain Omar. Too shipwrecked and stranded. That's my hunch anyway. I'd like to think this appraiser is the only one, but... We should keep an eye out for more civilian castaways, and be ready to rescue them too. Chances are they're in danger. Oh boy they are. There's probably a bunch of dead ones. I mean, probably not, but you know. <laughs> they might be in trouble for a long time. It's partially digested, but not... <laughs> that doesn't happen to Charlie, so I can't... I can't just dis disprove it. Pikmin 3 had that problem, but... Uh, like, not a problem, but you know what I mean. They can get stuck in the stomachs of things for a long time. <laughs> I'm officially adding this to our mission list. Got it, you two? It's in law. I can't- you can't prove it's outside of law if it's in a game. Oh boy, one of who knows how many. Rescue all castaways. Oh no. As if we didn't have enough work finding Captain Olmar, the rescue corp- and the rescue corps. There are also civilian castaways on this planet. Rescue as many that you come across. Do we have to repair the ships as well? Because that'd be cool. Not gonna lie, it would be cool, so... There we go. Can I tell you to help as well? Looks like it. But I think that's about everything then. Don't think there's anything else to get. I still love that we can move the... the base inside of the dungeon. That's just so cool. This game is amazing. <laughs> this is just a demo. Thousand sparklim collected. New gear is now available. Oh, there he is. Oh, she came back to you. That's nice. Anyway, I think that is everything. So let's go back to the surface. Industrial maze res rescues. Treasure appraiser. Pub drive up. Nice. Bunch of sparklium. I'm gonna read these. Memory fragment. Top right. Oh no. Personal injury plank. That's a good one. Uh, also very, very judgmental. Kind of. Kind of. Like it's. I know somebody's gonna have an accident on a skateboard and be like, oh, that's way too personal. <laughs> that's too personal. Uh, strategy rubber cutie. No, stately, Robert Cutie. Unlimited locomotive. <laughs> Lo ah. Unlimited locomotive. Detective's truth seeker. So good. Investigation complete. We got everything. And now we have 15 yellow Pikmin. I'll try not to lose them immediately. But we have no way to reproduce them still, so... We can only reproduce reds. We're gonna have a lot of reds. Like every Pikmin game ever, we're gonna have a lot of reds. <laughs>